Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Fish Door County TV. Well this week we've got a really cool show lined up for you guys as we're going to preview the fall fishing season right here in the Door County, Wisconsin area. Now this is my favorite time of the year to fish. Not only because we catch some of the biggest fish of the year, but also because of the lack of fishing pressure as a lot of people just don't take advantage of some of the opportunities we have during the months of September, October, November, and sometimes even into December if the weather cooperates. So we're going to look back at some of the big fish we caught this season on the Fish Door County TV show and we're going to show you how some of those techniques and tactics that we used early in the season are going to apply to the fall fishing season the same way. We're going to talk some tactics, we're going to show you some baits and some ideas on how you can focus in on this trophy fishery this fall. Stay tuned, we got a great show lined up for you, we'll be back in about a minute. Welcome back. You know, when a lot of people think about fall fishing in the Door County and Sturgeon Bay areas, the first thing that comes to mind are trophy walleyes. And these are one of my favorite species to fish for no matter what time of the year, but especially in the fall, because this is when we catch some of the biggest walleyes of the season. Even bigger than the spring a lot of times, especially as that water really gets cold into that November and sometimes even December period. So what do we look for when we target these fish in the fall? Well, basically what you're gonna do is look for areas very similar to what we did in the spring. You're gonna look for hard breaking shorelines, steep edges, and you're gonna look for those eight to 15 foot flats that are nearby those areas. Put the boat right in the middle of that flat starting at 10 to 12 foot range, troll the edges, and you're gonna put some big fish in the boat. Now, what kind of tactics are we using? Basically trolling, and we're trolling stick baits. One of my favorites, for example, is this big super rogue, a purple color, gold colors, anything like that is gonna produce fish. These baits can be run off of flat lines right off the corners of the boat, or they can be run on planer boards. One thing to keep in mind when you're targeting these fish is bait size. I like bigger baits this time of the year, but don't forget about running some of the smaller versions as well. Some of the smaller rogues especially can give off a different signature. Here's an example of the same bait in a smaller size. As you can see here, the differences in the action from the big bait to the small bait is, is pretty dramatic and sometimes that can be the difference between a couple fish a night or a bunch of big fish. So experiment with different size baits, but make sure you're targeting those stick baits, those size ranges between three and a half to four inches all the way up of course into the big six inch baits. Another classic example is this Rapala Husky Jerk, a size HJ14. You know, fire tiger patterns again, gold, greens, anything with that color pattern, always going to produce big fish this time of the year. So take a look back at one of the big walleyes we caught this spring using these exact same techniques and it'll apply again to your walleye fishing this fall. Boy, you know the bites just keep coming tonight. We got another one on here now. Uh, we were just trying to reset lines after the last fish where we had a clear and this, this board didn't get 20 feet outside the boat and we had another one on. So oh, we're working this fish in guys here. We got the board off now and Tell you what, this has got some. This is a big fish, and this is what you come out here for. Like we've said all night, this is why you lose sleep. This is why you get back in the morning sometimes at two, three in the morning. But I'll tell you what, when you get a big bite like this and you feel these big head shakes, if you're a walleye fisherman. This is what it's all about right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we come out at night for, right? Yeah, guys. 
just what we said. That's why we come out and spend the time we do at night out here. Dull. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's all about right there. Boy, I'll tell you what. I mean, that's what made, that's the type of fish right there that made Door County famous. I mean, that is an absolute beast of a walleye. You know, as fun as those big walleyes are to catch, they're not the only species to target this time of the year. Another great opportunity for this season is brown trout. Now, a lot of people associate that spring ice out period with brown trout fishing, but the fall can offer some great fishing as well. Concentrate on those shallow flats in the Sturgeon Bay area, both on the lake and the bay side, and you're gonna put a lot of fall brown trout in the boat this season. Use smaller baits this time, however. Use number size like 10 husky jerks, uh, yozuris, these shallow running yozuris, as you can see by the action here. You want that tight, quick wobble to them. You don't want a big, long, wide wobble like you get sometimes in the fall for walleyes and big pike. Um, these small yozuris and these small husky jerks are just the choice for targeting these late season browns. Take a look back at a fish we caught this spring on the Sturgeon Bay area using these exact same tactics. All right, we got a nice fish on here right away this morning. Good way to start the day. As you can see, these aren't necessarily, what a lot of people would consider prime brown trout conditions. We got fairly clear skies, basically flat conditions. Um, but it just goes to show you, if you put yourself in the right spots, Get set up right and catch brown trout in just about any condition. Doesn't always have to be that overcast, choppy days that a lot of people, a lot of people relate to brown trout fishing, especially in shallow water conditions. Um, like we've talked about many times, when you get these kind of conditions, you just got to spread the boards out a little further away from the boat, um, adjust your lead length a little bit, and uh, try to reduce that spook factor a little. But it can definitely be done. Oh, that's a nice brown right there. That's the kind of fish we're looking for out here. Just goes to show you, you can catch these fish under any conditions. If you get the right spreads, make a few adjustments. There's a nice Sturgeon Bay brown trout right there. Just a beautiful fish, clean, healthy. I'll tell you what, get out here in the mornings, no matter what the conditions are, make your adjustments. Get your boards away from the boat, you can catch these nice fish yourself. You know guys, another great opportunity we have available to us during the fall season here in Door County is some trophy northern pike fishing. Now the cool thing about pike fishing up in these waters is that they produce good action and some trophy sized fish that push over the 40 inch range every fall. What's also cool about it is that we can target these fish in a couple different ways, trolling or casting. It's kind of whatever you prefer to do. If you're going to target these fish by trolling, as usual during these months, look for steep, hard-breaking shorelines in that 15 to 30 foot range and just have to cover different sections. Maybe start in that 20 foot range and just continuously work your way out deeper or occasionally shallower if you got some big winds blowing in on certain areas. One thing to consider when it comes to bait choice is to target big, deep diving crankbaits. Deep diving husky jerks like this one right here or of course the 800 series reef runners Either one of these, along with a variety of other big deep diving crankbaits, will produce some trophy sized pike this time of the year. When that water gets into that 50 degree range, you're going to see some of the best trolling action for pike any time during the season. Concentrate, like we said, on those edges, use some deep diving crankbaits. Actually, colors and, and bait styles is not as important as presentation and location when it comes to these big pike. So any baits that you're comfortable with or you like will produce some big pike this season. Here's a big pike we caught early this fall. It's kind of a little preview of what's to come later in the season. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get on, you know, early, you know, late summer, you start getting some periods of time when you can catch some really nice pike. But it really, it's dependent on what the water temp does. When you start getting into these early fall time frames, you know, water temp's starting to drop a little bit already and the fish get a lot more consistent, and that's what we're fishing today. Oh, we got that board off, it's staying down. Oh boy, and this is what we're looking for. You know, we're looking for these bigger fish. And you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think that the areas that we're fishing, you know, you can catch big pike like this, but I'll tell you, this is a great, great place, a great time of the year to get out, and you can do it right now. 
I mean, right now you can get out there and have some fun catching these big pike. Wow, that's a nice fish. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is what we come out here, early season pike fishing. This is a big, big fish. I mean, this thing is probably pushing close to 40 inches. I'll bet you this thing's 15, 18 pounds for sure. Get this bait out of here because I definitely don't want to wear it. Barely was hooked. It's pliers. Barely was hooked. What a nice fish. Beautiful fish. Big fish. And you know, we're going to let this baby go. We're going to get fishing here because, you know, you start catching fish like this, there could be more and more bigger ones here. So we're going to let this baby go and we're going to see if we can catch some more. You know, another great way to catch these big pike during this fall season is to cast for them and some people simply prefer casting to trolling. It's kind of a personal preference. One day trolling might be a little bit more productive, the next day maybe casting, but if you prefer to cast, be sure to concentrate on some of the shallow areas in the Sturgeon Bay waters, or even down south a little bit further along the Door County shorelines. Concentrate where weed growth was prevalent in the summer months, but is starting to taper off as the water cools. Classic examples of that might be in the Sturgeon Bay Ship Canal area. Throw big crankbaits like this Super Rogue here, or the HJ14 size Husky Jerks like we showed earlier, or even bucktails and inline spinners. Those will all produce big pike this time of the year. Here's a fish we caught earlier this year in the Ship Canal casting as a little preview of what's to come this year. Oh my, wait, wait, wait till you see this fish. This, I'll tell you what, five minutes ago we caught a, a pretty nice one, and now you never know when these big fish are gonna come. And, Wait till you see the size of this pike. <laughs> oh, definitely a beautiful, beautiful pike. Look how he's got that bait. Wow, what a dandy. What a dandy fish. I'll land this baby. Not hooked real well, but... <laughs> Look at that fish. I'll tell you what, we got a, you wouldn't picture this day as a great pike day. Uh, we're fishing kind of a flat area, but it's the time of the year. Time of the year is really key for these fish. Oh, we're gonna let this fish go. I'll tell you what, these fish you really gotta let go, folks. You know, these are, uh, not that it's a 40 inch or 20 pound plus pike, but this thing's pushing 12, 14 pounds. And uh, you know, these are the ones, you let them go, I'm gonna write them up here. Let me get ready to swim. You know guys, if you're gonna spend any time trolling this fall, one of the ways you can up your success rate considerably is to troll lead core line. You know, lead core is a presentation that works year round, but it really shines in this cold water periods of the fall. Here's a little segment we did on lead core trolling earlier this fall, where we concentrated on trolling deep edges for walleyes and it produced one of our biggest walleyes of the season. Well, it's that time of the year again, folks. It's late summer, we're getting into fall and that really means one thing up here in the Door County area and that's trophy-sized fish. Pike, walleyes, muskies, and just about everything else that swims up here, we're gonna catch some of the biggest ones of the year in this fall season. And one way we like to do that is by using lead core line. Now, a lot of people overlook lead core line as an option, especially in this fall season, but it, to us, it's one of the best ways to target these trophy sized fish. You know, lead core has a few different characteristics to it that really makes it effective for fishing in the fall and fishing for trophy fish, like we said. The first thing is that it allows us to set shallower baits, number 13 Rapalas, number 18 Rapalas, even number seven and number nine flicker shads into deep water situations. Normally those baits with monofilament or braided line would only run 10 to 15 feet deep. You have to add something to get them down. 
lead core is one of the most effective ways to do that. We can run a number seven flicker shad in 40 feet of water if that's where the walleyes are set up at that time of the day or night. Uh, the other thing it does is it presents baits in a little different manner. It that has that subtle action. It's simply led inside of this Dacron sheath, which allows it to sway back and forth. And it actually sometimes makes the bait action a little more subtle, which in this colder fall period is what a lot of these fish are looking for. The third thing it does is it actually tracks break lines better than some of these other methods of presenting baits in that deep water. A lot of times we're fishing areas in the fall that are hard breaking shorelines, 15 to 25 to 35 feet, but they're steep. You have to be right on the edge as those fish are laying along those quick, steep breaks. Lead core has a tendency to track those breaks better. If the boat gets blown in or blown out into deeper water, or if you lose control of the boat a little bit while you're netting another fish, a lot of baits would react instantly to the boat and you'd have baits out in 40 feet of water. Lead core a lot of times will track slower. It'll stay inside along that break line and it doesn't respond quite as quickly. And keeping that bait in the strike zone a little bit longer is always going to be a good thing and usually help you put some big fish in the boat this fall. One of the new things, we're lucky this year, we were able to get some samples of a new product coming out by Western Coleman called Micro Lead. And what Micro Lead is, it's basically lead core, but it's inside of a super line sheath, which means you got ultra high strength, 40, 50 pound test and ultra thin diameter and basically the same dive curve that you would have for regular lead core. The biggest thing what that means is you're going to be able to put a full spool like we have on this reel right here. There's 300 feet of micro lead on this reel. It allows us to be so much versatile. You're going to catch way more fish and I'll tell you, you got to get some of that stuff. It's going to put a lot more fish in your boat. feels like a nice fish too. That's the one thing about lead court. You know, we talked about some of the techniques and some of the tactics and how to run it. This is an example right here. And the one thing, like I said, the one thing about lead court is it can produce big fish. There's something about the subtle nature as we talked about earlier, it really can trigger some big bites. And I don't know what this is. You know, we're in an area where we could be, could be just about anything, but whatever, big fish. Oh, it's a big walleye. It's a really big walleye. This is this is the type of walleye right here that made Door County famous. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's a big walleye right there. This is what this is why you fish lead core line right here. Oh, <laughs> that's why you fish lead core line. Look at that beautiful fish. Look at the size of this walleye. That is a big Door County walleye right there. Like I said, lead core line, we talked about it. Middle of the day, the conditions are not what you would think you'd need to catch a big fish like this. But if you use some of those techniques like lead core we talked about, you can put a big fish like this in the boat as well. That is a big Door County fish right there. Well guys, the fall season is upon us and we have some of the best fishing opportunities of the year straight ahead of us. Now today's show was just a quick look at some of the species of fish to target this fall. But as we all know, there's a variety of other fish to look for, including smallmouth bass, muskies, big salmon and everything else that's available on the bay and the lake. So be sure to take a little time away from the hunting this year, get that boat back in the water, and target some of Door County's outstanding fall fishing. Thanks again for watching guys, and be sure to tune in next week for another episode of Fish Door County TV.